Spatial Factory is a software application suite that provides tools for analyzing, extracting, manipulating, and distributing mobile mapping data. In this screencast, we will show you how to visualize your data, make measurements, and create and edit features. Let's begin with the many ways you can visualize your data in Spatial Factory. Launch Spatial Factory and open your run. In the tree view on the left, you will see a list of objects that are present. Available data products depend on the sensor configuration of your data acquisition system. Data product visibility may be toggled using the checkboxes in the tree view. Spatial Factory has three modes for visualizing data. Map mode, 3D mode, and panel mode. The default mode when Spatial Factory launches is map mode, showing an overhead view. You can toggle between the different modes by clicking on the icons on the left. Map mode overlays your trajectory on top of the map. In this mode, you can visualize your trajectory within the context of the world. In addition, when in map mode, you can zoom in on the 2D ground tiles which allow you to visualize the road surface. You could switch to 3D mode by clicking on the house icon. This mode allows you to visualize your point cloud in 3D. The cloud tiles allow you to zoom out and view the entire point cloud at once, with the level of detail increasing as you zoom in on a particular section of point cloud. When you click on Cloud Tile in the tree view, an attribute pane will appear. Here you can select between four color methods, flat, natural, eye reflectivity, and height. Natural shows the most information-rich view of the point cloud, with colorization information if available. Eye reflectivity colorizes the point cloud based on reflectivity intensity data from the LiDAR. Height mode displays the cloud in a color gradient based on Z height. Flat mode displays the point cloud in a single color. Additionally, you can adjust point reduction, transparency, and point size using the sliders below. To enter panel mode and take a look at the imagery, simply zoom in and click on the image marker of your choice. In this example, both a 360-degree hemispherical camera and four directional cameras are present. The bubbles represent images taken with the 360-degree camera, while the squares represent pictures taken with the directional camera. Once in panel mode, you can progress through images by using the up and down arrow keys. Now that you've seen the different ways to visualize your data, let's see how you can make some measurements. To make a measurement, select the ruler icon at the top and click on Measure. The workflow bar that appears will prompt you to select your first point, then click to select your next point. You can add as many points as you need. When you are done, click Keep at the top. The measurement will appear in the tree view on the left. When you select the measurement, you can edit the name and see all the statistics related to that measurement in the Attribute pane. The measurement tool will tell you the individual distance between any two points in your measurement, as well as the total distance. If you need to start over for any reason, just press Discard. Even if you choose to keep a measurement, you can always delete it later by going over to the tree view on the left under Distance Measurements, right-clicking on the measurement, and selecting Delete. In addition to making measurements, you can also tag features in point, line, and polygon formats, which can be edited, saved, and easily shared using our import and export tool. You can tag features both in panel mode directly in the image or in 3D mode on the point cloud. First, let's start with how to create a feature on your dataset. Click on the pencil icon and select either the point, line, or polygon icon. You can also click on tools at the top and make a selection from the pull-down menu. To tag a point, click on the point icon and select a point. In the attribute pane on the left, you can name your point. Up top in the workflow bar, you can select which category the point is placed under. When you are finished tagging points, click Exit.
To tag a line, click on the line icon and select a point. In the workflow bar, you will be prompted to select another point. From there, you can either select more points or click finish line. You can name your line in the attribute pane on the left and categorize it on the workflow bar at the top by selecting from the pull down menu. When you are finished tagging lines, press exit. To tag a polygon, click on the polygon icon and you'll be prompted to select your first point, followed by your second point and third point. After that, you can either add more points or click Finish Polygon. You can name your polygon in the attribute pane on the left and categorize it on the workflow bar at the top by selecting from the pull down menu. When you are finished tagging polygons, press Exit. You can also create new categories and maneuver your features in the tree view on the left at a later time if you so choose.